Welcome to news update. Tinobu reacts as U.S. releases satisfied true copy of drug dealing and money laundry case against him. Some documents said to have indicted the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress (APC), Bola Tinobu, on drug dealing and money laundry in the United States of America have resurfaced which report that they were released by the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois. The trendy document refused details about Tinubu alleged indictment in drug deal and receipt of illegal money while in the U.S. The 56-page document released by the District Court headquarters confirmed the long head view that Tinubu faced conviction on narcotic charges in the United States especially with the revelation that he forfeited up to 460,000 US dollars to the US authority in 1993 report people's gazet Tinubu has denied any wrongdoing and his spokesman Bayo Onanuga blamed the media for recycling the news even when it is not in new during an interview with the whistler on Tuesday evening Bayo said it is dead as Dodo, Rose Plantain, wondering why you journalists will continue to do the story. It resurfaced before the primary presidential now, and again, it is nothing new. It is dead. It is as dead as Dodo, he said. However, the first allegation, especially the release of the complete document to the public, may further put pressure on Tinubu who was Lagos State Governor for eight years to company on his alleged narcotic dealing and indictment for money laundering. Although he was never convicted as he did not re-enter the U.S., the certified copies of the court case, which were released on August 10, revealed that Tinubu and two others, simply known as K.O. Tinubu and Alaji Mogati, were involved in banking proceeds of illicit drug and money laundry with Heritage Bank and Citibank, all in the U.S. The personality of Wu Alaji Mogati remains shrouded, as no one could easily be, as no one, as no trace could easily be made to such a person close to Tinubu, except that Tinubu foster mother was known as Alaja Abibatu Mogaji. She died in 2013. Tinobu was resident in the U.S. when these offenses were committed, returned to Nigeria, and made his way into the upper political class in Nigeria to emerge as Lagos State Governor in 1999 to 2007. However, his refusal to return to the U.S. when the court case was aired reportedly led to huge forfeiture of $460,000 in the Citibank account in the United States of America. The U.S. authority never applied to Nigeria for its extradition, the Whistler findings shows. However, this paper gathered that since his accomplice in the U.S. entered into a plea bargain to afford a long-drawn court case, the former Lagos West senatorial senator also enjoyed that privilege as all assets and money were seized on September 21, 1993. An Abuja-based lawyer, Benson Agada, told the Whistler that Tinubu can still face charges in Nigeria and can still be disqualified if appropriate findings are made and the case is made in court by the Nigerian government. But that is difficult because it will be impossible politically. His party will be shooting itself in the leg to embark on such a venture if the president is against him. But the evidence is clear that someone who was indicted like this to have forfeited such a huge amount of money can stand trial. If he had remained in the U.S., he would have been convicted and plea bargain is an evidence of guilt and acceptance that you are guilty, he said. That is the news. What do you think of this? What is your opinion on this? Please kindly let us know in the comment section of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. God bless you as you do.
till I come your way some other time. Remain blessed.